In this video, we're going to be doing an example problem that uses Siva's theorem. The problem tells us that lines AF, BD, and CE are concurrent. And because it tells us that, we know that we can use Siva's theorem to solve this problem. And the question that we're being asked is, what is the length of line AC? And so what we are going to do is we're going to use Siva's theorem to solve for the length of AD and then add 4 to get the total length of AC. Remembering back to the last video, in order to set up Siva's theorem, we started a vertex and then we go around the triangle alternating uh, between multiplication and division, um, at least for the case when the intersection point is within the triangle. We're going to start at vertex A and we're going to uh, start going around the triangle. So we have AD divided by DC times CF divided by FB times BE divided by EA equals 1. And that is by Siva's theorem that we know that. So the next step we're going to do is substitution and we're going to start substituting the numbers up here that the problem gives us into the equation down here. We still have AD because we don't know what AD is. That's going to be divided by 4 because DC equals 4 and times 3 divided by 3 times 2 divided by 5. That's equal to 1. Uh, by the property of substitution. So now we can simplify. Those two are going to cancel. That's going to cancel to just give us 2 on the bottom. AD divided by 10 equals 1. And therefore AD equals 10. Now we know that AC, if you look up here, that AC is equal to AD plus DC, which is equal to AD plus 4, which is equal to 10 plus 4, which is equal to 14. And so that's just an example of how to use Siva's theorem in order to solve um, a problem uh, involving a missing length on the side of a triangle.